Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're having a two-part video. Well, this is a two-part video. I don't know why I said we're having, but anyways, the first start, the first part will be how to order Dolphy Dream Dream Choice through a proxy outside of Japan. And number two will be me unboxing my Dream Choice doll, which is a tan mochiyashi which I am very excited about, so if you want to see that part, the unboxing and the review, please skip ahead to the timestamp in the description box. If not, keep on watching. Alright guys, I'm not gonna lie, Dream Choice is really expensive if you're getting it through a, prox through a proxy, I can't talk, but here are the prices for the different bodies, and they have exclusive bodies and combinations at Dream Choice that you can't get anywhere else. In terms of costs, well, there's the cost of the doll. This price includes the doll itself, a set of clothes, so typically like an underwear set or a slip dress, um, and a wig of your choice, eyes of your choice, and the dream fitter, dream fitter mechanism, <laughs> I can't talk, which is basically um, this mechanism that goes into the head that allows you to slightly adjust the eyes without removing the head cap or taking out the eyes, which is pretty cool. On top of that, there's the 8% Japanese consumption tax. Uh, there's also your proxy fees. I usually see this is like 15% or so. Um, also, some proxies will charge travel fees, and it really depends on how far they have to travel to get to Doll Point, because not every Volks store has Dream Choice. Uh, and then you have payment processing slash PayPal fees. Um, it's usually at least 3%. And then there's the shipping fees, which I've seen, um, $70 is usually the lowest for a Dolphy Dream that I've seen. And then you have extra parts and accessories, so if you wanted to buy some clothes, or you wanted to buy extra eyes, or you wanted to pick up some limited skin tone um, body parts or hands or whatever, you can only get those at Dream Choice. That being said, I think that you should budget $900. That's right, <laughs> $900, yep. So yeah, keep that number in mind. So you've been eating instant ramen every single day for the past five months, and it's finally time to buy the doll! Please don't actually do this. Alright guys, now we're on to the fun part. Building the actual doll and picking out all of the customizations. So I will be referring to this guide by jadepixeldoll.com. I'll put the URL in the description box, you can go check it out, but we're just going to quickly go through all of the different options. Number one is deciding on the body type that you want, so you can refer to the slide that I showed earlier. And here's also a photo of all the different body types. And then you can choose the skin tone that you want for your doll. So there's three options. There's the normal slash, uh, it's also called flesh. So it's normal slash flesh color, which is the default color. And then you have tan from September, sorry, from April to September. And then you have semi-white from October to March. So tan and semi-white are the only limited skin colors. So what you want to choose after that is your head choice and the face-up that goes with the head. So each head sculpt has many different face-up options. A face-up is basically the style of uh, face paint that the doll has. So for example, DDH1 is the sculpt name, and then there's MO1, MO3, uh, and those are two face-up options. So several sculpts were actually discontinued, so let's skip past those. And I'm just going to quickly go through this because I don't want to uh, spend too much time on this website because you can just check it out for yourself. So you can see that Jade Pixel provides a lot of the um, sample photos for different makeup options and you also get a good idea of what skin color and what hair color goes well with those options. So I find this really, really useful. This is a really great resource. Highly recommend looking at it. Um, after you've decided on your head sculpt, oh, I should mention that if you're interested in getting elf ears, they come in three sizes. There's small, medium, and large. I can only show you large today. I don't have photos of the other two, unfortunately. But um, 
the elf ears only fit DDH20 and DDH21, and the reason is that the elf ears are actually sculpted to snap directly onto the ears of these sculpts, and it's very secure and it looks really seamless and nice. I'll talk more about it in the unboxing slash review part of the video. So you're gonna have an option of different hairstyles. Some hairstyles are actually exclusive to Dream Cho to Dream Choice. Um, and then after you've picked out the style of hair you want, you should pick out the color. So these are the Dream Choice exclusive colors right here. You have this like kind of Miku colored green, Ramune blue. I think this is pretty pink. And then there's Arctic white, I believe. Um, so passionate red, I also believe, is a exclusive color. Um, so you can see all the colors here and how they look in different hairstyles. I'm a big fan of vivid purple and gray purple because I think that these two colors are the hardest to find matches for. So I highly recommend going for one of these two because they're very unique and they're both a blend of different fibers. I have the vivid purple and it's like this beautiful periwinkle blue with lavender mixed in. And then this gray purple is like a lilac with silver. It's, it's, they're just gorgeous. I'm a big fan. <clears throat> and the next thing we should talk about is eyes. So this actually isn't on the Jade Pixel website, um, and not all of these eyes are still available, but here are the options. Just tell your proxies which ones you're interested in, and they will know which ones are still available or not. I can't actually tell you that, unfortunately. And finally, you can always ask your proxy to help you pick up some clothes while they're there, as well as other accessories and options they have in the store. They actually have a very cool um, artisan-made section in the Akihabara store. I don't know if it's also in the Osaka store, but they had a bunch of handmade items and there was a lot of cool stuff, so this stuff is obviously gonna um, change per season and there's really no way of knowing what they have in the store, so definitely speak with your proxy and see if they're willing to let you know what the availability is. But yeah, I think that about sums it up. How long it takes really comes down to how busy Dull Point is. So on busy days, you will probably have to make a reservation and come back another day, but also sometimes you can just go in and they'll be free. And it takes probably 20 to 30 minutes at most to get the doll made and to get everything paid for. Um, as for shipping time, it depends on the service you're choosing, but I would say one week is a pretty safe estimate. For reference, from the time that I first spoke to my proxy to the time that the doll was on my doorstep, it took three weeks. I spent a lot of time recording and editing this video. Please like and subscribe to be notified of part 2. Bye!